It's eastbound and westbound between Park and Dean Streets. We also have ramps closed on 95 northbound right at the 610 there. And there's also construction on 95 southbound between Branch Ave and Atwell's Ave. The project is going to cost more than $100 million. It's expected to take four years to complete. The mayor's advice to drivers just take 24 directly to 195. We have a crash in Providence on 95 northbound. It's right before Thurber's Ave. The shoulder is blocked. It should be wrapping up pretty shortly and be cleared there. We also have a crash in Freetown on 140 northbound. This is right after Chase Road. And in addition to that, you can see here, I still have a crash in Attleboro on 95 northbound right before exit 6. That's the on-ramp to 295. The left lane is blocked there. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg will be in southern New England today to talk about infrastructure. He'll be joined by Governor Ned Lamont and State Senators Chris Murphy and Richard Blumenthal. Lots of traffic alerts out there this morning. We'll start with this crash. You can see a Newport on 138 eastbound right at the Newport Bridge. We were seeing huge delays all the way back to North Kingstown as a result of this. Now, as we head north here, you can see I have a crash in Warwick, 95 northbound, right at Route 37 there. There's also a crash in Cranston on 295 northbound before exit 3. That's also Route 37. The right lane is blocked there. I also have a crash in Cranston here. This is on 295 northbound right before Plainfield Pike. The left lane is blocked there. Huge delays all the way back to Route 37 there as well. And there's also a crash in Providence on 95 northbound right before Thurber's Ave.